you so much. All right, let's talk about what's going on. There was some, some big, big breaking news this afternoon. President Trump has fired FBI Director James Comey. Uh, it's a, a massive story, a massive decision. It made me think, you, you remember two years ago when we all made jokes about if Trump ever became the president, he'd be like, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. They... They were good times. <laughs> uh, I'm worried about this. I'm worried this puts Trump in a real bind. He doesn't have enough kids to fill the vacancy. <laughs> I mean, the White House is saying Comey has been fired for his handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation. Other people are saying he's being fired because of the Russia investigation, while I say Comey's being fired because Donald Trump is crazy. <laughs> he a crazy man. <laughs> He'd be crazy. <laughs> Although... <laughs> It was kind of obvious that James Comey was getting fired. Take a look at how press secretary Sean Spicer answered when a reporter asked if Trump had confidence in Comey. Does the president still have confidence, full confidence in FBI director James Comey? I have no reason to believe. I haven't asked him, so I, I don't... I have not asked the president since the last time we spoke, spoke about this. So that's a no. <laughs> Spicer then added, if you speak to Trump, can you ask him if he has confidence in me? <laughs> uh, this is like when your friend says, hey, you hung out with Julie last night. Is she still mad at me? And your friend's like, ah, oh, we didn't talk. We didn't... <laughs> we, did... we went to dinner, but we didn't... <laughs> we didn't talk. Were you... Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> the Republicans are still catching heat for their health care reform, and it's making some of them touchy. Iowa Congressman Rob Bloom stormed out of an interview on Monday, and if that wasn't awkward enough, he was in a classroom full of children at the time. Take a look. Would you still take donations from a Republican in Iowa City? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm... <laughs> we haven't even... We just started. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. We, 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 like he's going to sit here and just, just all right, badger me. All right. we, we, we just asked why you wanted to do the interview. That was, that was it. Well, Congressman, let's, let's talk about the issues here. I love that kid dancing at the end. That kid thought he was going to be stuck in that interview for hours. He's like, we're leaving? This is better than a snow day. <laughs> Bloom there, it was a lovely man sending a good message to these students. He's like, remember kids, when you're taking a test and a question is too hard, give up and walk away. <laughs> you also know once those kids got him in the hallway, they were like, you're still gonna pay us, right? <laughs> Finally, uh, you guys, you guys remember Antonio Sabato Jr.? <laughs> of course you do. Uh, <laughs> He's a former model that used to appear on soap operas like General Hospital and Melrose Place. Well, he's a huge Trump supporter, and he's just announced that he's running for Congress. I mean, yeah, there he is. <laughs> he has all the right qualifications for a successful politician these days, which is absolutely no qualification. <laughs> Now, this political move has gained Sabato Jr. so much attention that he's pitching a whole new line of soap operas with a Trump theme. Take a look at a couple here. There's All My Children Work For Me. <laughs> Generally, hospitals no longer take Medicare. <laughs> and The Bold and the Beautiful, just tremendously stunning. I mean, have you seen my daughter, Ivanka? <laughs> so sexy.